G'day Art Adventurers and welcome to day two of my Google Drawing Challenge. If you haven't seen day one, shameless plug to the card linked above and go check out what I'm doing. So when I first started this challenge, I figured Google would just send me on a pretty predictable voyage of common animals to explore and draw, which I was totally fine with. But I should have known better, good old Google stumped me on the very second prompt with a Bubby Rusa. I'm not even sure how to say it. I don't think I'd ever seen one before. It is a deer pig. Deer pigs are, I guess, actually a kind of boar, but they have these weird double sets of horns that I'm drawing now. They stumped me a little bit, so I took slowed down and took a little bit more time drawing that. You know, even though these are meant to be loose, quick sketches, I find that I still am getting lost in details. All of this part from this point on is kind of pointless to add in more detail once I get started with the material that I'll be using. And that is soft pastels. The first time, actually, I've never tried using soft pastels before. I'm also drawing some extra baby roosters or deer pigs in the background there. Sorry, their heads are cut off just for a second because I didn't set up the camera properly, but you'll see them in a second. And I put those in in the background, not only to create some more interest and to practice drawing some more, but when I googled the baby roosters, because I had no idea what they were, I saw a number of photographs of males and they fight in such an interesting way where they get up on their hind quarters and rub their snouts together. I guess the horns or tusks would be involved somewhat, but I don't really know how that's even going to happen because they curl up so much. But I just couldn't get past the image of them kind of walking around on their hind legs and dancing and hugging with each other, although I guess it's meant to be fighting each other. And so I just had to draw a couple of those in the background as well. I hadn't really even thought about what materials that I'd be using. I knew I wanted to try to explore using different materials during this challenge, like I did with my October series. And there's a card there if you want to check out my Inktober world. Um, but I didn't realize that I would be using soft pastels when I first started this. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm using them for the first time. I just am trying to keep in mind from videos that I've watched to pay attention to lights and darks. So I'm just trying to block in where there will be lighter areas and where there will be darker areas. This first layer actually turns out pretty well, but it gets pretty much lost once I start using the br blending brushes for the first time. It all just kind of mixes in together. And I should have realized, you know, that's kind of what soft pastels are meant to do, right? They blend away and mix with each other. So I should have just put down a really quick layer for the first background layer or to have a base layer and then started to put in more detail. But that's the whole thing and new materials you begin to to learn through experience i've watched a bunch of videos on soft pastels and seeing artists use them but nothing really equals just getting in and using the materials yourself so if you're nervous i often am about using a new material or trying out something don't get stuck watching video after video after video. They're really great. They're really helpful to watch YouTube tutorials. Don't get me wrong. And they're just fun to watch. But you really do need to just leap in and get started. And you'll find that some things don't work and some things do work. And through experience, you'll get better. And so just try to keep it in mind that every accident is a learning experience. Every time you're trying something out, you're gaining valuable knowledge. So just keep at it and keep on trying. Even if you think you're not improving, you actually are. I've been really pushing myself a bit more this past year in terms of art, and I'm really starting to see the payoff of it. But it's taken months, really, before I've noticed that I'm getting a little bit better 
and that I'm seeing it's in particular an increase in speed, which is something that I was really wanting to do. I'm still learning in terms of my style, although I think that'll always change. The colors of the foreground deer pig aren't realistic. It's got a sense of realism to it because of the light and contrast. But then the back two pigs are just very graphic and just kind of add to the scene and give a, a sense of interest, I think. And I just took a risk by using two random light colors to see what would happen. But I'm pretty happy with the end result, except of course for the areas that smudged. I really need to remember to start to use a piece of paper or something for where my hand is going to be. Don't forget if you're using soft pastels like you saw there to use a spray fixative at the end and if you can't afford one or can't find one I hear hairspray works pretty well. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure. Bye. P.S. It would be awesome if you could subscribe, turn on notifications, like, share and comment below. Thanks, bye.